right word. Science is impressing us yet again. <laughs> I love these introductions. I was really <laughs> love these introductions. <laughs> it's killing me this 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 week. On How the is it impressing us, Emma? Scientists <laughs> have managed to recreate the sound of a three thousand year old mummy. What? Me too. I just did that. Now. What? Pick I- up your underwear from the. <laughs> <laughs> Even 3,000 years ago, they were telling us to clean our room. Pick me out the way of the floor. <laughs> to the garden. <laughs> so researchers have recreated the vocal tracts of an Egyptian priest named Nes, Nes Yamun using medical scanners, 3D printing and electronic larynx. So, so was it a priest? Come here, young man. <laughs> oh. Um, researchers basically they so other than the tongue being a bit like worn away because you know it's been like three millennia whatever Mm. but (laughs) (laughs) they actually yeah got used the vocal cord track whatever and 3d printed it and then used being able to create this sound i don't know you have to see a picture this is pretty impressive but what what, what, did you want to hear the sound yeah all right but what's the point ouch what do you mean? What's the point? <laughs> Historians. Yeah, but like to gain what? Yeah, but it's not. Like you're not going to pick up his language. It, he's not speaking in his language. He's just hearing how he sound. Yeah, like out. Oh, oh, yeah, but uh, oh, oh, like, oh, oh, but, but oh, it's oh, not oh. though, is it? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, well, can can we hear? Like, it's this? just made up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I it's just someone going. So. This is how a mummy sounded, and everyone going, ah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. I've got something relevant that actually goes quite goes along with this. Okay. So I'm going to send you um, the tweet. This went uh, semi semi viral. We'll go with that. Um, I don't know if it was this specific tweet because I just had to search a version of it. But point is, it's a picture of a penguin next to a penguin skeleton, and when you look at it. You realize how long a penguin's neck is. Oh, wow. Is... Oh. Right? Yeah. So now people are going, I never would have guessed all of that was neck. Like, yeah, you just, same here. You're wow. never looking at a penguin, but I expect that's what the skeleton to look like. So now people have taken it in another direction and they're going, We really have no idea what dinosaurs look like just because we have a skeleton. Like, we haven't got a clue oh, what they were like. Yeah, wow. wow, 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 wow. So true. This is this is actually, like... Impressive. Very impressive. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's a big neck. It's that big is neck. actually pretty The crazy. first thing I thought was a dinosaur. And a penguin. Oh. Yeah, like, that's the shape of a, a small flying dinosaur. Like, I'm who sure knows? Yet. Who knows? Hey? Realistically, it's the shape of a fat, waddling... Uh, <laughs> well, realistically, yeah, but like, <laughs> let's say you found that you found that out in like three thousand year three thousand, and you're like, oh, back then this used to be prehistoric. Uh, uh, this this skeleton shows that it used to fly, and we go, no, it didn't. It was a fat, fat, chubby, uh, no. full of fat bird that we, lived in. We won't say that because we'll be long gone. It will be long gone, <laughs> unless the podcast is so still going. People- I wish I could find the one that had like, the dinosaur thread because people were sharing them pictures of dinosaur skeletons and what they could possibly look like. And I thought one of the most interesting ones was the T-Rex and they put more like blubber around it. I don't know what you want to call it, but like more yeah. meat around the skeleton than what we typically look at. Yeah. And it looks like a giant, like um, like a robin, like the bird, the robin. It looked like a what? giant bird like that. Um. And, it, and when I saw that, I was like, that actually makes more sense than what we think dinosaurs look like. So instead of being ferocious, they're probably like just these massive giant Birds. cute panda things. Did you did you see the toucan <laughs> skeleton? No. Look at the toucan. How does oh, that neck go. support the... Did you see oh, the toucan? I got the, I got the T-Rex bird. The I toucan. can't find the sound. Yeah, the toucan skeleton. Skeleton. It's in uh, Sad Bitch Club. Sad Bitch Club? And uh, Andrew Kalen. Oh, oh, man, that's... that. 
That is blowing my mind, the mind skeleton. Blown. Blown. This is unreal. Blown. Well, listen, right? Mm. So you guys aren't impressed with the three thousand year olds. Um I heard the sound earlier and it kind of sounds like bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad. But they admit that <laughs> when when the, you know, if you're alive, it changes as you blow or what. So that it's not gonna sound exactly the same. Mm. But <laughs> so it's pretty impressive. But then I thought, I'll look up some mummy facts. Did you know mm. the process of mummification, like what they actually do? Mm-hmm. Do you know? Yeah. What? They, imp- they, they t- t- take out your guts, brain. They take out your brain through your nose. Yes, CJ. Yes. They. I'm surprised the tongue was not in a jar. So with the brain... Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear CJ talk more. Okay. Do you know anything more? Because I thought, I thought they took all the innards. Because when they wrap it, at least that way it doesn't decompose as quick. Some of the time they'll take them out and leave them out, and sometimes they put them back, but they never put the brain back. No, but they, I thought they put them in jars and put them all around the room. Yeah, they can do that too. Wow, there you go. So, the brain, they remove the brain with brain hooks yeah. and pull it through your nostril. <laughs> wow. How? Wait, what? Wait, how? Easy, you're dead. You're not going to say ouch. Hold on. Yeah, but how does your brain fit through your nostril? It's not coming out in one big piece. <laughs> <laughs> so they're ripping, they didn't want yeah. to like, keep it intact. They just put it in a jar. Also, remember, think of, think of a human skull, like the nose cavity in the skull is pretty big. Yeah, but this bit isn't. Yeah, but you're dead. You can't... Unless they cut open... Okay. Yeah, they can cut the cartilage. Yeah. yeah. But they also, so step one, wash and purify the body. Step two, remove organs and dry them. Organs are either put in jars or back in the body, but the heart is placed in the body, not in a jar. What are we talking about? (laughs) How to mummify. The mummify. um, How to to make a mummy. (laughs) Step three, rinse the body clean with wine and spices. Step four, fill the body with stuffing. Step five, cover the body it's with like like natru- <laughs> natron salt. Step six, after about 40 or 50 days, the body is restuffed with linen, wrapped in a shroud and placed in a stone coffin. And then they, rem- yeah, and, and, and that's, as I was saying, like removing the brain with hooks through the nostril. Um, okay, but if they've, wouldn't the brain be mostly liquid? Hmm, wouldn't the liquid depends. have dried up? Wait, how do they know that they remove the brain through the nostril? They use brain hooks. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not saying how do they do it. How do we know that's what they did? If the brain's gone... They might have had artistic drawings on how they did stuff. Yeah, there's Gary with the <laughs> fishing for the brain. That's where Maxi got it from. What? That's where Maxi got it from. What? So we were talking about an article like uh, two weeks ago and then Maxi um, said that Gary... Um, d- Came up with an idea in the boardroom. It's you that got him in, that got that name in his head. Gary. Yeah. <laughs> that Gary guy goes everywhere and he does his stupid that things. Gary guy's a, <laughs> he does everything. That Gary guy's an idiot. <laughs> He's been living for millennia. Um and last fun fact on mummies. Yeah. Lady Dahl, otherwise known as Shin Sul, <laughs> who was the wife of the Han <laughs> dynasty Marquis. Yeah. Marquis. Yeah. She died in 178 to 145 BC and is the most perfectly preserved body to be found. Wow. Like, think about it, guys. 178 to 145 BC. Yeah. And scientists still can't figure out why or how she was perfectly preserved, but she was wrapped in 22 dresses of silk and hemp and her last meal Mm. was still in her stomach. Wow. What was the meal? Turkey. Turkey.